Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be doing how to apply press on nails. Along the way, I'll be showing you the products that I use and step by step directions. Also, this video will be fast forwarded for your viewing pleasures. So, because I'm so indecisive, you guys, I end up picking up both nail designs. I want you guys to try to guess the design I went with. First step is taking some alcohol and cotton balls and wiping off your nail bed. Our nails create their own natural oils and you just want to make sure that it's all cleaned up before applying the actual press on nail. This is the cuticle remover that I use by Sally Hansen and you can find it at your local Walmart or Target. This product helps with the overgrown cuticle around the nail. Apply it evenly to your nail. Pea size is all you need. Use the little stick that comes in the nail set and kind of evenly apply it around your nail. You guys, I noticed if you move kind of slow, it dries up. So that's why I added more, but that's not necessary. Use the little stick to, like I said, evenly apply it and then let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. So guys, you want to use that same stick on the reverse side, not the pointy side, but the flat, more flatter pointy side to kind of scrape off the cuticle. Gently scrape off the cuticles, guys. Don't be too rough. And you want to make sure to have a tissue or a napkin sitting close so that you can wipe off the dead skin. with me you guys I did record myself doing both hands so this is just me doing my other hand what you do to one side you have to do to the other Thank you. 
step is to file your nail and your file your nails down this is preference you do not have to file or clip your actual fingernail but you do want to make sure you file the nail the bed and just to make sure it's a clean polish finish And if this is the design that you guys chose, you were right. So the next step is to size the press on nail with your actual nail. And once you find the right size, you can find the matching number under the nail that will go on the other end. I hope that makes sense. I'm just trying to find the right fit. You don't want it to be too small. You don't want it to be too big. And once you can find that number, which is under the nail, at the tip of the nail, all you have to do is find the nail with that same number for your other hand. Next step, apply the nail glue and gently press the press on nail as close to the cuticle as you can without pushing the nail under the cuticle. You want to make sure to hold the nail firmly in place for 10 to 15 seconds. Next, you want to use the file to file off the little plastic tip that comes on the press on nail. Now don't forget this part because we want to look like we went to the shop, okay? Disclaimer, it was like two or three in the morning when I was recording this video. So here you see me applying the nail glue, but then here you see me filing the nail. Yes, I figured it was a little easier to file the nail before applying it to my actual nail, but file the nail first and then apply the nail glue. As you can see, I did not need to file every single press on nail. Some nails just already fit my natural nail.
So this is the Sally Hansen Vitamin E Oil. This helps with moisturizing and conditioning the cuticles. Even though we love our press-ons, ladies, we have to make sure we're taking care of our real nails. So this leaves the natural nail looking soft and healthy. So once you're done with your nails, y'all lightly brush the oil onto your cuticles and massage it in. And you can use this oil on top of your nail color and on your bare nails. This is the finished product and I absolutely love them. I got so many compliments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I love making this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.